Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing oily skin approved for the new Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharge Micellar Foundation. Yes to you all. The name is long as hell. So we did our first impressions. I'm linking it above so you guys can check it out. But today we will be doing a wear test. Four plus hours is probably going to be more like five to six hours because I'm going out tonight. So yes, you all. Yes. We're going to really see if this is oily skin approved. You know if this is your first time watching the beat welcome and if this is not your first time you already know what it is okay don't forget to put your bell on for notifications subscribe to my channel like the video you know at the end when you're finished and you're in love <laughs> you know what to do all right let's jump into the video so i love starting out these videos with skincare so we're going to be doing a mask from clarence and it's called the sos mask there are three of them sos hydra sos pure and sos comfort and we have the SOS Pure. So this is an absorbent non-drying powdery cream texture perfect for combination to oily skin. Organic alpine willow herb extract helps limit shine and promote matte looking skin. A combination of clays, white and green, absorb impurities, smooth skin texture and boost radiance. Cleared of impurities, skin is fresh, radiant and soft. So that's what we're gonna be using today. So this is the consistency. Oh, I have used this before, so this is not my first impression. What I really like about this is, it is not as drying as regular clay mask. So it almost feels like a balm as you're putting it onto your skin. It feels quite moisturizing, which is not usual for a clay mask. I'm gonna go down my neck just a little bit. I'm not gonna go crazy today. The smell of it is quite pleasant. It has a light fragrance that is pleasant, so I can appreciate that. Okay, so do you see how radiant my skin is looking? Very, very nice. It actually feels really smooth as well. So sometimes clay mask could really dry out your skin because it's supposed to suck all those impurities out. But what I really like about this one from Clarence is that it doesn't do that. It retails for $34 and you get 2.7 fluid ounces. So this is going to last you a while. I would definitely recommend it. And I don't know if I said Clarence did send this to me to review and I actually really, really like it. In these Oli Skin Approved videos, I do my eyes off camera and then and I come back to tell you about the foundation. So that's what I'm gonna be doing because we're really here to see what this foundation is saying. Okay, so I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. The eyes are done for the most part. Now we're gonna jump into the skin. So I prep my skin as usual. I use my toner, my serum, my moisturizer, and of course I'm gonna have all the products that I use to prep my skin in the description box below. But today we're not gonna be using any primer. We're just gonna be using the foundation so we can really see if it's oily skin approved. So Bite Beauty sent me over three shades of the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I got 150, 160, and 165 and then I went to Sephora and I picked up 170 and 175 because I wanted to see you know if 165 was the best shade for me. It worked in my first video but I just wanted to you know make sure. So let's do some little swatches. That's 150, that's 160. 60. 150 is deep with warm bronze undertones. 160 is deep with neutral olive undertones. 165 is deep with neutral peach undertone. Okay, so this is the shade I used in my first video. Then 170 is deep with neutral golden undertones. And then 175 is rich deep with neutral bronze undertones. So 175 is definitely dark for me. I feel like in the summertime, I probably could use that shade. But I think I want to try 170, y'all. That's the one with neutral golden undertones right here. I think that probably would be a better match for me right now. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. This is the first time I'm gonna be using this, but what I realized from my first video is that when I was using the brush, it was making the foundation kind of streaky, and then I had to keep buffing, buffing, and then when I went in with the sponge, it did a really good job. So I'm just gonna start with a sponge for this one. Now, this foundation is quite runny. I am liking the application with the damp sponge much better than with a brush. And I'm just gonna do half of my face, and then we 
you could see if this one looks better than 165. I must say this shade is actually very golden. It's more golden than 165, but I think I could still appreciate this as well. What I do also like about the foundation is that it is very skin-like. Now you could build it up. It is medium coverage, but you could build it up to full coverage if you so desire, right? So wow, look how that is looking. It's looking like skin, y'all. So that's just skin. And this is just skin. Actually, it's giving, it's giving a little glow, to be honest. Okay, so I did my entire face and I highlighted with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 400. So this is how the foundation is looking. I haven't blended out this side just yet, but y'all, this, I think 170, it's more my speed right now, but I can do 165 and I can do 170, so I like that. We have the Change Maker Flexible Coverage Press Powder from Bite. So they also brought out powders and they they come in eight shades. So this shade is Tan 2 and then I also have Deep 1. Looks like this, so I showed you guys in the previous video what they look like. I'm just going to take Tan 2 to set my under eye. So I don't usually set my under eye with pressed powder, but this has been doing pretty good. Just lightly set, you know, let's not go crazy. I think the powder is quite sheer, even though it is, you know, tinted, it's not giving off so much pigment, so I like that. Okay, so this is how my face is looking. The last thing we need to do is the lips. So we have the pink eyes, so we're gonna do pink lips as well, but I wanna put a twist on it, so I really, really like Midnight Rye, so I'm gonna line my lips with that. I'm using the Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon from Bite. I'm gonna go in with Honey Crisp. We're making the perfect ombre. All right, so this is the final look, y'all. Very Valentine's Day inspired. I'm just gonna change my clothes and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Looking very Valentine's Day scrumptious. This look was, you know, inspired by Valentine's Day, to be honest, that's why I did the pink look. Of course, everything that I use will be in the description box below. This ombre lip is life. It is absolutely live. This shade Honey Crisp, oh my God, it's going so well with my monochromatic pink look. So, we're gonna be wearing the foundation for four plus hours, like I said before, so I'll be back. Hi guys, so we're back. It is 8.18, so that's about, what, six hours we've been wearing this foundation? And it's greasy, y'all. It is greasy. We didn't use the primer, so, you know, we didn't get any help in the grease department. We are greasy in the T-zone. Um, so much on the drawline, you know, but like center of face, definitely greasy. But I really, really like this foundation. I'm just gonna blot, right? I haven't blot since I put it on and there's no product on this. So I'm just going over and sucking up that oil. I'm gonna be giving this foundation four to five stars. I really, really like it. I like 170. I think that this shade is a little bit better for my skin tone right now. I can also make 165 work. Check out my previous video with my first impressions. That one looked just as good, to be honest. I don't think the product moved all that much. Very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything is on your skin. We did get oily in the T-zone, so that's why I'm going to be giving it four to five stars. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you try this foundation. What do you think about it? I absolutely love it. The powders, I'm not too sure how I feel about them just yet. I'm going to use them some more, you know, see what it do. If there's any utility for me, you know, with my chocolate skin, because the two shades that I got are pretty light, and then Deep 2 is not that much darker than Deep 1. I saw it in Sephora, so I don't really know if I would be able to use them and if I like them. So, yeah. Let's revisit the powders. <laughs> you know, you can follow me on my social media platforms, the Stood Up Beat on Instagram and the Be Pink on Facebook. Without further ado, thank you so much for watching and have a great night, guys. Bye!